vomiting it refers to forceful expulsion of contents from stomach and intestine it is a visceral reflex action integrated in the medulla oblongata vomiting can be activated by two waves one is by activation of vomiting center and second one is due to activation of chemoreceptor trigger zone activation of vomiting center vomiting center is situated in the reticular formation of medulla it may be activated directly or through afferents direct activation of vomiting center in medulla oblongata uh, causes a increase intracranial pressure cerebral tum- tumor etc it causes projectile vomiting without nausea whereas afferent impulses activating vomiting center includes impulses from git due to the irritation of mucosa and impulses from vestibular nuclei which mediate nausea and vomiting uh, or uh, of motion sickness then afferent fibro afferent from higher centers due to the emotional stimuli like nauseating smell uh, sickening sight noise etc then pregnancy due to the distension of the uterus it also associated with nausea second one is due to the activation of chemoreceptor zone chemoreceptor trigger zone ctz is present in the medulla contains chemoreceptor cells that initiate vomiting when they are stimulated these cells are located in the area postrema this area can be stimulated by circulating emetic substances uh, in patients with uremia and radiation sickness in circulating emetic agents like morphine apomorphine etc vomiting reflex vomiting is a reflex act the sensory impulses from vomiting arises from the irritated or distended part of gi tract or other organs and are transmitted to the vomiting center through vagus and sympathetic afferent fibers the pathway of vomiting reflex in case of irritation of gi tract is given below vomiting act vomiting starts with the salivation and sensation of nausea reverse peristalsis empties material from upper part of the small intestine into stomach the glottis closes that is to prevent the entry of omitus into the trachea then the breath is held in mid inspiration the muscles of abdomen wall contracts and thus intra abdominal pressure increased the lower esophageal sphincter and esophagus relax and the gastric contents are ejected note that strong involuntary movements in the gi tract start even before actual omitting and intensity of feeling of omitting this condition is called as retching omitting occurs few minutes after this so as i told irritation of the gi mucosa it leads to the stimulation of the mucosal receptor and the information carried by afferent impulses that are, that are vagus and sympathetic fibers reaches the omitting center motor impulses are carried by the 5th 7th 9th 10th and 12th cranial nerves back to the irritated organ uh, they initiate anti peristalsis and propel the content from irritated part uh, of the mouth then the some of the uh, efferents goes to the spinal nerve diaphragm and abdominal muscles are stimulated which are going to help in